大家好，欢迎我十拍十说，我系大力星我嘅 Royce。今日啦，我哋就嚟到 A Three Girls Grammar School。咁啊，呢度咧就系 located 喺 Eastwich。咁啊，离开 b r i s b a n City 啦，就系大约三十至四十分钟车程到嘅啫。咁啊，呢间 Grammar School 啦，其实就系 Queensland 嘅 original 诶，其中八间其中一间嘅 Grammar School 嚟嘅。咁啊，都好耐历史啦，佢系一八九二年嘅时候已经开始噶啦。咁啊，而家咧就要百几年历史。咁啊，佢呢度呢，佢嘅誒 Year Seven 去到 Year Twelve， 即係由 Middle School 去到 Senior School 誒嗰個 Year Level 呢，都係 Girls Only 嘅，即係 Single Sex Education。咁啊，佢有個 Junior School 嘅 area 啦，咁但係嗰個就係誒即係男女學生呢，都喺呢度讀嘅。但係我哋今日呢，就淨係 focus 喺佢哋 Year Seven 去到 Year Twelve 嘅嗰個學習嘅 area。咁啊，佢係間 independent 嘅 day and boarding 嘅 school 啦，咁所以就呢度啲 boarding facility 我哋都可以望下嘅。咁我哋今日啦，就去睇下入邊嘅嗰個 campus 嗰個環境係點嘅樣咯。I think that one of the key things that students should consider is the school's values and how their values align with those. We're a school that values excellence in terms of personal excellence and striving to be the best that students can be.、Um, we value diligence, and we do talk about our environment where students do work hard at their endeavours, and hopefully they're rewarded for those. And we very much value respect for everybody. We have quite a diverse community at Ipswich Girls Grammar School, and We value each and every member of that community and respect them for who they are and their individual differences. I think this school has quite a long history in this community, so we're very much involved in the town and service events for Ipswich, which gives our students a connection beyond the school gate. We also have a strong connection with our network of old scholars, and so when it comes to things like careers information, university information, and pathways, we have a great range of people to draw upon, and a lot of really inspiring role models too. And we invite those、um, inspirational graduates back to the school quite frequently. We also invite a lot of our recent graduates back to help with things like、um, tutoring, preparation for exams, those types of things. So, it is a school that has a network and a community around it, which I think is really useful. Uh, there's a few real advantages for girls' schools. We know all the research says that、um, girls who graduate from girls' schools are often more confident. They're particularly more confident in academic endeavours around math, sciences, engineering,、um, maybe those areas that sometimes、uh, have been considered traditionally male schools. We absolutely expect our students to excel in those areas. We also know a lot of research talks about、um, student well-being, and we tailor our well-being programs to the needs of adolescent girls. So we really focus on、um, well-being, personal care, health,、um, and also things to do with presence in the world and social media and all of those things. And I think being able to target to young women is a really powerful thing to be able to do. And so our messaging can be really strong for girls. Uh, we have a lot of support networks when students arrive. So we obviously have a team of staff around students. So we have heads of house, we have dean of students, we have a school psychologist,、uh, we have an international、um, business manager who also has a lot to do with our international students. What we try and do is make sure that we focus on every student as an individual. We do one-to-one -one meetings with our students quite frequently,、um, and we also have an orientation program where students are buddied up with other students. Because we're a little bit of a smaller school in terms of the number in each year level, we really believe that we get to know our students very well, 
and that we meet them quickly and they become known to our teachers and other students really quickly and that's something we pride ourselves on. Welcome to Crib House. Crib House is the residence of Ipswich Girls Grammar School and it's where all our students live. So we have students from all over the world and locally. So many of our students come from Hong Kong and when they first arrive, they're allocated a room. We take them through an orientation process where they will get a tour of Ipswich, they will get a tour of the school, they will get to meet all the staff. Then we go on a boarders camp early in the year. So next year it'll be February. And that way all the boarders get to go, all the staff get to go and they get to meet each other. Our facilities are very modern and up to date. And you will find when you do your tour that um, you will see the renovated and up to date rooms. Three staff live on site all the time, that is the head of boarding, the assistant head of boarding and a senior residential supervisor. There is also another staff member who sleeps in every night to look after um, your daughters. Crib House looks after students from year 5 to year 12. So any student wanting to come in in year 5, they're very young so they we have special care um, that we look after them. So all the students have their washing done outside. So the, um, all their linens, all their towels go out and we then teach them how to look after their personal clothing. When, when your daughter first arrives, she'll be introduced to all the staff. She'll be shown her room and then she will have a special staff mentor and a buddy. So if she needs anything, she can go to her student buddy or she can go to any other staff. Something should happen through the night. There is always a staff member on site and on duty. So they are able to deal with any issues of homesickness or ordinary sickness. And um, so they just knock on the door and there's someone there for them at any time of the day or night. Staff are available to parents all the time so if you have a major issue you can ring at any time of the day or night or if it's not a major issue you send an email either to the head of boarding or the boarding house. Doctor 
Um, my role is overseeing student wellbeing um, and I look after students from year seven across to year 12. And we're currently in the wellbeing centre at our school. So this is where a lot of the senior wellbeing staff um, work. We've got the heads of house um, to the left and my office to the right. We've also got the Young Women's Wellbeing Centre, which is an opportunity um, for students to relax and recharge and get some support if they require that. Um, so I think sometimes with international students um, getting used to a new way of schooling, a new system, so they may have questions about events that are coming up, about the uniform, about expectations at school. They may need support in terms of how they're managing their academic lobes that may be different to what they do in Hong Kong. They may be engaging in subjects they haven't studied before, so they might want some, some support with organising their learning goals or getting some more um, assistance from their teachers. So it can be a whole range of things. Sometimes we have students who are feeling a little bit homesick. Certainly um, in the last couple of years when we've had students who've been away from home for extended periods of time, we've done a lot to support their well-being. We've organised holiday programs. Um, I took the students on a holiday to the Gold Coast when they were unable to go home. So we really try to create a very home-like environment for them with lots of adults who can support and care for them. Well, I think um, this is a wonderful school community for international students to come to. We're a really um, warm, family-like environment. We're a smaller school, so we get to know our students really well. They're really welcomed into the fabric of our school. So I think my advice is to definitely give this a chance and to try um, to experience being an international student because there's so many wonderful things you can do. And I think you want to come with a positive attitude and um, want to come uh, believing that this will be a really great experience for you and be aware that there's a lot of people who are here to support and guide you as well because we're really well set up to support our international students and we want to set them up to have a wonderful experience and to experience success. Grammar 如果学生或者家长有什么问题，欢迎到我哋大地海外升学嚟揾我哋嘅顾问咨询。咁啊，多谢大家睇今次嘅十八十说。如果大家中意呢条片嘅话咧，就记得 like、comment同埋 subscrib